As Sagittarius, so I'm here doing the February's generals and I'll be coming back on Thursday or Friday to do the love readings. I know it's gone a bit dark in here now. I'm not sure I to turn the brightness up on my phone. Um, so these are just going to be generals. Always check your sun, moon, rising and Venus. If you don't know your chart, go to Astro Sofa. Just fill in the form and it'll give you your signs. Um, so I'm going to fire straight in for generals for Sagittarius, February's energies. Sagittarius, situation, base chakra. So there's an element of ungroundedness at the minute, maybe feeling a bit insecure or um, unsafe within yourself type energy. Let's have a look what's coming out. Challenges or blockages, Sagittarius. Temptations, devil energy, toxic energies. The challenge is toxic energies. So it could be toxic thinking, it could be yourself, it could be the way you've you're thinking um it could be something that you're doing it could be something that you're eating drinking that type of thing there's some type of i don't know i i, I don't even know why i've got a cocaine in my head then i saw the key and i got i got cocaine in my head um so that could be a challenge it could be challenging you someone else could be challenging you with these vases i feel like these vases someone's got vases someone's going towards like using vases, so it could be yourself or it could be someone else, it could be someone else that's affecting you and it's affecting your groundedness, um, the feeling of safety within yourself. Um, yeah, to toxic energies. So it could be, let's have a look, it could be anything, let's have a look. Why is it coming around now for Sagittarius? Suffering in silence. So it's almost as if some of my Sagittarius is, you could have vases yourself and you're keeping it to yourself, suffering in silence, or someone else's vases are having an effect on you and you, you're keeping it to yourself. It's like suffering in silence, you're not speaking your truth, you're not asking for help when you need it, you know, that type of thing. It's almost like wearing a brave face, you're fooling people, but you know deep down that you, you're not fooling yourself. Um, quite deep, Sagittarius, we're only three cards in. So... In the past, we had the light, we had the sun, we had happy days. So what happened? At present, memories of love. So it could be someone you've lost. There could be a grief, grief situation, someone, you, you know. Or someone's changed. It's like you're in love with someone and they've changed. Or the Six of Cups can... This, well, it's, it's a six, memories of love, but in, this, in the other tarot, it's the Six of Cups. It can be someone from the past um someone you feel like you need to let go of or someone that's let go of you there's been some kind of now you're suffering in silence like not speaking your truth it's like how did it go from so happy to toxic near future spiritual strength so spirit are stepping in, spiritual strength. So you are going to get help from the spiritual side. It just looks like things have gone from really good to... Not, not really good at all. To be honest, what I'm feeling is depression. I'm feeling depression, I'm feeling like isolated, I'm feeling vices, I'm feeling alcohol, I'm feeling drugs, addictions, vices, whether it be you or the other person, it's having an effect on everything. So your power in this situation, it's like, why can't you have this back? That's what I'm think, feeling like. I want this back, but did it ever exist? Or is it just how my brain's remembering it? It, it, it? If that makes sense. Your power in the situation is to emotional withdrawal from the situation. It's to kind of go with the flow. Um, it's to take time out and deal with your own emotions, what you feel about the situation. The outside influence, we've got the lovers. So it definitely could be a relationship, uh, a toxic relationship. Uh, we've got the card of Gemini there as well. So I've got Capricorn, I've got Gemini. Um, but the outside influence 
it's harmony, it's peace. It's like what was once peaceful has turned toxic. I just can't grasp whether it's on your side or their side. Hopes or fears. Partnerships and alliances. It's almost like you don't want to let go of this person or they don't want to let go of you. It's like a fear of that finalisation. Um, but then we've got the hope that you keep hold of each other. And your outcome. Authority. I've just done Leo's reading and it's, it's ringing... It's almost like I picked up like a legal issue with um, in Leo's reading and towards the end it were almost like I was going towards drink driving. I'm kind of feeling the same thing here, like someone under the influence with the authority figure coming out at the end. I feel like someone needs to be careful with the vices because they could be standing in front of authority a boss or or even police or something like that um i feel like there's a need to take control of your life now emotional loss so it's like you're grieving you're grieving but you're wearing a brave face so you could be covering it with vices or someone is i'm picking up vices really strong your intuition's telling you that there's doors there's doors opening it's not as you're not as shut off as you feel like you are if that if that makes sense. Listen to the intuition. Take take the warning. It's so weird that Leo got a warning in there this is about alcohol as well. So you could be dealing with a Leo. A Leo could be in your life or it might just be like the fire element. I'm not sure. This Mercury retrograde though does bring stuff up. So let's have a look. So we've got the chariot, the sign of cancer. An important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. So it's about positive movement forward. So what's challenging or blocking this? Strength, Leo. <laughs> Go out of the shit, could you? And the sun. So there is strong Leo energy here. Um, it's showing us a bit of a challenge. So you could actually be dealing with a Leo. If you're not dealing with a Leo, it's about spiritual strength. It's about having spiritual strength, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness and compassion. So there could definitely be been arguments between a couple. Um, you know, the challenge is to get the sun back. Happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. It's time to get the sun back. You've got three major arcana, arcana cards that just flew out there. So this is a major arcana like, event. So why is this coming around now? Seven of fire. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground, but choose your battles wisely. Don't be so quick to fire her name. Don't be so quick. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground, but don't be so quick to judge or fire her name. I don't know why I want to say that. Recent past, the ace of air. So some kind of truth came out. Um, you saw the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. Or someone spoke the truth. At present, we've got the wheel of fortune spinning in your favour. A time positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward and fortune's on your side. So things are going good at the minute. And then we've got release, which is Scorpio, sign of Scorpio. The end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, it's time to move on. Um, I feel like you're releasing something. Your power in this situation is the Queen of Fire. So it could be another fire sign, which is you. It's about being independent, confident. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. Outside influence, the Nine of Water. Um, your wishes come true, the Nine of Water. As an outside influence, though, you can't rely on other people to make your wishes come true. That's what I kind of want to feel. Hope Sophie is the nine of earth. Um, enjoying the last little luxury, spending quite time alone. It's like you want the quiet laugh, want things to happen. Your outcome is the six of water. It's something from the past coming back again. Mem Leo got the same reading near enough. Memories from history or childhood, issues regarding children, romanticising the past. 
it's like there's something from the past that you've not dealt with that's kind of what i want to go with and it's so strange that we've got leo here as well with the strength card it's like there's something from the past that you haven't dealt with. Six of Water could be soulmate energy. That could be from the past. We, we are in Mercury Retrograde. It does bring people back. Or it could bring you towards someone. Or you're dealing with something from your past. Mercury Retrograde is bringing like, memories or something like that up from the past. It's like the past is coming back round again in some way. So, let's have a look. So the chariot, this positive movement forward. So you are, you've got the six of wands. So you are moving forward, you know, with confidence. It's moving forward. The challenge is the nine of pentacles. So the challenge is to feel safe, secure and independent, not having to rely on someone else, having the strength. Um, it could be self-employment as well. Uh, with the nine of pentacles, it is self-employment card. So the challenge could be a fear of that, but it is a positive move. So this seven of fire, this defensiveness, the ten of wands, burdens. Don't take your burdens out on someone else, or you could find that someone's taking their burdens out on you, and it's something from the past. Something that hasn't been sorted, dealt with. Eleven, eleven, in reverse. Could be twin flame energy. You could be, you could be in a twin flame situation. You know where it's push pull, push pull, uh, that type of thing. Eleven, eleven in reverse. So there could be triggers. That's probably why I want to say don't be quick to aim. The ace of air. Uh, so these new ideas and things like that. It's kind of put an end to a nightmare situation. Seeing the truth of that situation, but then it kind of puts you in your in your head. So it's like the nightmare's over, but is it going to come back? That's kind of what I'm feeling with the Eight of Swords being there. So the Wheel of Fortune at the pre present. So it's like things are starting to go good. There's a chance of it, the past repeating, though. The High Priestess. So we've got secretive energy there. Someone could be seeing, you could be keeping secrets, another person could be keeping secrets, or not speaking about something that's from the past that's not been dealt with. The Nine of Cups. Um, definitely I'm picking up an alcohol vibe with Leo and Sagittarius uh, we've got the nine of cups but in order to make your own wishes granted I feel like someone needs to speak their truth or deal with something from the past because near future we've got release you need to release it what are you releasing a new telling secret it can be lies as well it's, it's someone telling lies or you telling lies you know you cover to cover things um, so we've got the queen of swords so you could be dealing with an air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius um, this person could be releasing you, you could be releasing them, or it could be releasing judgments against that person. The Queen of Swords. The Two of Wands in reverse. It's almost like it's stuck together with someone and you can't separate it. I know I'm laughing, but it's strange. It's, it's backward and forward energy. It's like your magnet. It's like push, pull, push, pull. The Two of Wands in reverse. The three of pentacles, because when you work well together, you work well together, but when you don't, you don't. <laughs> you know, it's that type of energy. Two minutes. Just clarify the three of pentacles for me. See, battles, deception. It's like you, you're arguing with someone don't be too quick to aim. So we've got battles, we've got drama, we've got things like that. And we've got the Seven of Swords, stealing, lying, cheating. Um, so that could be where the argument's coming in from. And I feel like this argument has been going on for quite a while. This, like, sneaking around or lying or, you know, what's the lies about or what's the deception about? Four of Pentacles, not wanting to let go of something. What? Blindfolding. Point scoring. Point scoring. Someone could be trying to turn people against you. You could be trying to turn people against other people. It or if it's a couple, you just try, it's that point scoring on each other. But we do have the sun. It's like you keep going around in circle with this person. <laughs> and I'm laughing because I don't see it as toxic. I see it as, I'm seeing it like twin flamey. 
Like these lessons that this person is to teach you and you to teach them. There is happiness. Just don't try and control the situation. The Queen of Fire being your power is the Four of Swords. So it's to not overthink. So there could be a bit of an anxiety going on. The outside influence, the Nine of Cups, is the Eight of Pentacles. So someone's trying to do some self-work to better themselves. It's like two people trying to better themselves, but either way, you keep clashing. We've got the Ace of Wands. So it's like passion coming back, being revived. Six of Cups, someone from the past. On top of Six of Cups, Six of Water. So we've got a soulmate connection here. So Ace of Cups, true love. The Dove of Peace. It's almost like you need to make peace with someone from the past or with this soulmate connection. You've got to make the peace. You've got to decide. Both of you have got to decide because you can't stay in this energy. It's tiring. Even just reading it, it's tiring. Uh, so the Ace of Cups in the icon. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles. So we've got nurturing energy and we've got the Emperor. Um, Taurus energy. Could be going into Taurus season. So what's that? 22nd of March to the 20th of April. Unless you've got issues with your dad. Or your partner's got issues with dad. There's something about going back and um, sorting something from the past. So it stops having an effect on your future. If you get this, that makes sense. The Hierophant, because we've, we do have picked two people like kind of guided together constantly. You both hold a key to this healing. Strange, strange reading. Leo's what's saying. It's really strange reading. It's, it's like two people are stuck. Even if you're in separation, it's like you can't let go of each other. Someone's returning from the past, or, or you are. You, you're popping up. There's trust issues here, though. So it could be something from the past coming back up. Mm. I believe in this to Mercury retrograde. I blame it all on Mercury retrograde and get past the 20th. <laughs> and wait for March's reading, see if it gets more, makes more sense. Um, but yeah, Leo's and Leo and Sagittarius. Is, um, reading very similar very similar so you might have Leo in your chart or you might be dealing with a Leo but uh, I'll leave you with that <laughs> you stunned me but I hope it makes sense to someone okay bye